I became a skeptic on Saturday, August 6th, 1983, on the long climbing road to Loveland Pass, Colorado. It was day three of the second Race Across America, and the nutritionist on my support crew believed that if I followed his mega vitamin therapy program, I would win the race. <laughs> well, so in preparation for the 1983 Race Across America, I decided first I wanted to see if I could go L.A. to New York nonstop without any sleeping at all. So I figured uh, that was going to be about 10 to 11 days with no sleep. And this had been done before, but I thought I really need some good nutrition to get me there. So I hired this nutritionist to come on my crew and he plied me with just tons of mega vitamins and mineral supplements. And on top of that, I was doing all these other things like iridology, where you have your iris red, and colonics, you don't want to know, uh, and, uh, and mud baths and pyramidology. You put the pyramid over your head and sleep. And, and I had this uh, air purification device in my bedroom and on and on and on. And uh, I just got to thinking from my training as a scientist, uh, you know, where's the controls? It's an N of one. It's just me trying these different things. And I didn't feel like it was working too well. So uh, after he gave me a handful of these vitamins up this long 10 mile climb, uh, I got up the road and spit them out and decided, you know, I think being a skeptic is better than being credulous. So that was the day I became a card carrying skeptic. I would like for you to join us in our 25th anniversary by telling us your story of when you knew that you were a card-carrying skeptic. Film your story, make it public on YouTube, and send us a link. In return, we'll send you an actual skeptic card in the mail. Let the world know that you are a card-carrying skeptic. Thank you for watching. Check us out at skeptic.com and support our mission to promote science and critical thinking at Patreon.